Hello everybody, this is Tutone Yoshi and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. In the last fort, we went around underwater, we helped some aliens, we helped the pig from getting eaten so we could take pictures and stuff. In this fort, we are going to continue on to this world. So, from this day forward, I'm just sitting up on the couch doing this. And Rufus is making too much damn noise with his collar on. Let me take that. Let me take it off. Yeah, I know, Rufus. I know. There. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's grumbling. Rufus wants to join in on your video. Okay, you get to be in the video. Okay, so, um... I'm just sitting up on the couch probably because it's a lot it's a lot easier and I have more space doing doing it like this. Um I think this was the place where we helped um Chris P. Bacon. That was the place where we got the new move. And there's two other places. I think this place right here we haven't been in E2 yet. Um I know there's another place and there were things in that place that we could not get at yet. So let's take a look in here. Yeah, this was the place where we couldn't get things yet. <laughs> so it wasn't this place, not this place. <laughs> Rufus is just sitting up on on the armrest there on the couch. He's all nice and comfy, like his little Rufus self. Okay, let's take a look in here. Let's see what we got in here. Because I don't think we've been into this one yet. Nah, we haven't. I know we haven't. Alright, this is the Seaweed Sanctum, or whatever. And I believe this is a, a bit of a shortcut to another part of the level, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's just, uh, jump up here. Yeah, no, we. Banjo and Kazooie like to say we a lot, except Banjo doesn't say we in this game when he jumps. He, he's, Banjo sounds more serious in this game than he did the last game. Which is what I also liked. Kind of took me by surprise when I first played this as a kid. Because I was expecting the hoo wee thing as in the first game. But oh well. Oh look, there's shit that's fucking us over. Now we gotta go all the way up there all over again. Yeah, these seaweeds can suck. Let's just get back up there then, I guess. And then speedrun tactic it. I don't trust it. Don't trust the seaweed. Never trust seaweed. I okay. So Haley and I went to Sushi King once, and I tried the this uh, the seaweed salad. I did not like it. I, I just didn't like it. She likes it, but I don't. I mean, I don't even care that much for sushi. I only like eat like what California rolls. That's just about it. And the uh, Sushi King, uh, the Sushi King we have over here have the these New Mexican rolls. Because where I live, there's, um, those of you who don't live in New Mexico, there's a thing we have over here called green chili and red chili. They're not the, like, they're nothing like the chili con carne they have everywhere else. But, green chili and red chili are peppers. Um, peppers, they, they're, they're, um, yeah, peppers. They're chili peppers. That's what they are. They're only found in New Mexico. They're the only... New Mexico is the only place in the world that has green chili or red chili. I personally prefer, um, I personally prefer green chili. I don't really like red chili, but green chili is fine. Anyway, now that you know what green chili is, they have a thing at Sushi King called a uh, New Mexican roll. And what it is, they just, uh, deep fried, uh, a chili, a green chili pepper. And they wrapped it in, uh, something. They wrapped it, I think, in seaweed. And something else. But it's really good. It's really good. That's one, another thing I can actually get from Sushi King. Actually, the day that I tried the... The day that I tried the, um, seaweed salad, I had the... What I ordered at Sushi King was... Um, I, I forgot what it was called. It was, like, the popcorn rolls or whatever. And what they were were just, like, fried... Deep-fried lobster... Lobsters uh, on Californian rolls. That was just about it. It was pretty good. But anyway, you're supposed to go in this here fish, and this is where Jolly Roger's partner is located. Yeah, you know what this kind of looks like? It looks like uh, Jabu Jabu's belly and uh, in uh, Ocarina of Time. 
And also, I believe there's another Jinjo in here. We already got one Jinjo in this the auto water, water place, and I believe there is the partner. Or whatever her name is. Let's go talk to her. Ah, you must be rescue party. Only if I the price is right. I marry Maggie, partner of Jolly Roger. I was out on, on one of the blubber waiver racers when the fish, fish knocked me off and swallowed me. The fish's mouth is open now. You don't have to stay in here. Ah, that's lovely. It'll be happy hour at the end, and Jolly will be needing some relief. <laughs> Any chance of a jiggy? Oh, see Jolly about that. I'm sure he'll give you one. Alright, see you later. Tranny. <laughs> okay, let's wait till she leaves. Okay, so we freed her. So now I have to go back to see Jolly Roger to get that uh, jiggy. But first, let's get that Jinjo that I hear. I hear him crying for help, so we must do that. And we completed the Brown Jinjo family. That's great. Cool. That's one less Jinjo family to worry about. Now let's get out of Jabu Jabu's belly. <laughs> That's what I'm just going to call it, Jabu Jabu's belly, because it looks exactly like it. It's already been like seven minutes in the recording now. Man. That was quick. Anyway. There is something... I think there's something else in here. If I'm not mistaken. There's a entry over there, an entrance or whatever. I'm just making sure I got everything in this in this place. Let's see. Well, let's see where this leads us out to. Oh, I caught something in the corner of my eye. It's probably the cat. Oh. There is an octopus. Happy little octopus. He's all he's all waving his tentacles around. We gotta get out of here before before the unthinkable happens and we end up being in a hentai. Okay. So now it looks like we're in this place. There is a a thing. <laughs> I can't even talk right right now. Oh! Man, that was cutting it close there. But I believe there is a warp pad right here. And I think that's all we can get in here for now. We will come back here later, though. Because I kind of want to save this area for last. So let's get GTFO. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's see what's over here. I think it's more octopus. Another friendly face. I think this is where we came from, actually. Where the big fish is. Let's go take a look. Hey, hey, stupid tentacles. Had it with your fucking reindeer games. Ban this is a rated E game. We don't need no hentai around here. <sighs> yep. Just what I thought. So, here is... This is actually part of the Atlantis place, and, um... I think if we go out there, we'll go back to Atl Atlantis. But there is, uh... There's a warp pad right about here. Sweet, sweet. Let's go back to the town center so we can talk to Jolly Roger. Shall we? And we're back to land in Jolly Roger's Lagoon. So let's go ta take a uh, have a talk with good old Jolly Roger. All right, what do you have to say? Thanks for rescuing my partner. Think nothing of it. No, honestly, I'm rather pleased. How about a tankard of my finest ginger beer on the house? Perhaps later. Then please accept this modest little trinket instead. Alright, that's another jiggy. Now let's take a look at the totals. Oh, yeah, the totals of this. Alright, we got all the jam jars, we got one more ginger to go, we got all the musical notes, and we got more empty honeycomb piece, as well as one more Cheeto page, but we can't get the Cheeto page yet. Okay, so, 
Let's exit. Make our glorious exit. <clears throat> now. Let us go. I think we'll go back to the sunken ship part. The sunken shit. The sunken ship. Ship, not shit. See, even Rufus is like, mm, don't say stuff like that. That's gross, huh, Rufus? Anyway. Hey, 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 no. Okay, let's, uh. There's something in the sunken ship that we need to get, and I believe it's a Jinjo. And indeed it is. There is. There's our last Jinjo of this world. <laughs> let's claim our prize. So we got three more. We got half of the red Jinjo family, so that's, so that's good. And let's open this here place. This thing. This thing. And we got more propellers to take care of. So let's break out the the ice eggs. So we can freeze these things. Oh, crap. We almost cut it close there. Oh, crap. My phone just went off. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt. All right. We just froze it. All right. Let's see what's in here. <gasps> That's right. We got the last Jinjo in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And upon getting it, we completed the Yellow Jinjo family. Of Jolly Rogers Lagoon, I meant Glitter Gulch Mine. This is the last Jinjo of Glitter Gulch Mine. So let's uh, look at Glitter Gulch's status. Everything's clear except for the last Jiggy, but we can't get that until we get an upgrade that actually happens in the, in the next world. So we've almost gotten Jolly Ro uh, Jolly Rogers Glitter Gulch Mine completed. So, um, let's climb back up to this, uh, the thing, so we can go back to where we need to be. Alright, let's just freeze all the propellers once again. Okay. Here's another one. Cool. Let's exit this, this place. All right, now that we're back at the sunken ship, let's um, go back to Atlantis, I guess, because I think there is another place that we need to go to, so we can get something else. <laughs> we gotta find Humble Wumba finally. We haven't seen her in all the whole world, so let's go. Ow! Stupid octopus! This is a rated E game. You stupid octopus! You should be, if you're going to do that, go to a game that's adults only. This is a rated E for everyone game. Come on. Hit the damn thing. There we go. All right, let's get out of first person show. show <laughs> so we can actually see our, see our surroundings. All right, we're back at Atlantis. So there is another place that we need to go to. Um, that's where we came from. Um, this is also where we came from. So, let's go try to find Humba Wumba. So we can turn into the next thing that we need to be in this world. In this world. Okay, so this is going to take quite a bit. But, sure enough, here it is. And already I hear the Globo bouncing around like such like the Globo he is. And there is an angelfish that we need to get that has a jiggy. Yep, there it is. There's the jiggy. Let's get it. Ah, damn it. Let's turn around. Oh, good thing he turned around too. Ah, we warioed it. Where is it? Oh, crap. Crap. Oh, this is what I don't like about the, the talent torpedo. Oh, well, we got the jiggy at least. So now that we got the Jiggy, let's go pay Humba Wumba a visit. Let me just look around in case we were missing something. Well now, let's just see if there's anything missing. <laughs> Hi Humba, haven't seen you in a bit. How are you, how's it going? Yes, I have a Globo. I will give it to you so I can turn into something in this. Now I wonder what it could be. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I don't like about it. Now, we could just dive down 
and turn into... Drum roll, please. A submarine! Okay, so now we are a submarine. Now let's get the hell out of this place. And now, is there any, like, warp pads in here that we can go to get at? I guess not. Oh well. Alright, let's exit this place, and now that we're a submarine, there's only one thing we can do with the submarine. There's only one thing. You can't really do much else other than this. This thing that we're going to. It is a mini game, And we can only... Oh! There is a mu oh, musical note. Let's get that honey, empty honeycomb. I can't believe I forgot to get that. Okay, so uh, this is located at Locker's Cavern. So let's warp over there. Cool. So now that we're at Locker's Cavern, let's go down this place over here. We can only go down here as a submarine, and this is the only thing we can do with the submarine. So the submarine is pretty much useless at the rest of the level. Got down here at last, eh? How about try to make my little shooting challenge? Score 60 points, I might give you a prize. You need instructions? No. Ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, so it's basically the same as... as everything else. I'm not going to explain the rules to you again because I'm pretty sure after all the mini games we took care of in the last world you should probably know the things about this one. So you just have to keep shooting all this stuff. All these uh, oysters. Actually these oysters were in the last game except they weren't all colored like this. Ooh! Missed some blue ones. I guess we'll just uh keep spamming the torpedoes so we can get to our goal. This one's actually pretty easy. Okay, cool. We got two green ones. Oh, we already reached our our goal, so let's uh, get some bonus points here. Oh, here we go. That ought to do it. Rats, you luckily scored enough points to win my prize. Awesome. We got a Jiggy. So let's go ahead and find that Jiggy. There's not much in here except for the Jiggy and the minigame itself. So there's not much to look for in here. Now, if I the only except for the Jiggy, if I can only find it, I think it's over here. Probably have to get closer for it to appear. No. Not there. Uh, there it is. Let's get it. Because we need it. Because we need it. Cool. Do you want to play again? No. Ooh, creepy, na creepy, creepy noises. Okay. So let's take a look at the totals once again. All right, can't really expect to get the next Ch Cheeto page. We can't get at that one yet. Um, so I think we could only get about seven Jiggies the first time coming here because seven, eight, nine, ten. Then there will be three remaining ones. One we can't get at. Another one has to do with those little pigs outside. And the third one has to do with um, another thing that we can't get at yet. <laughs> so... So yeah, so there's just one more thing to do around here. And then we'll... F and that is to fight the boss! We're gonna fight the boss! Alright, let's go turn back into Banjo and Kazooie. So go fight the boss! Oh crap. Alright. Oh my god, this is taking forever to turn around. There we go. Uh, we want to go to Atlantis because that's the nearest place to get it at. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Now, where is that? Ah, there it is. So now, 
Let's go back to see Humba so we can turn back to Banjo and Kazooie. And then we'll, I think it'll be a perfect place to end once before we hit the boss. We hit the boss. Because we're almost out of time. All right, let's go into Humba's wigwam. There we go. Alrighty. Now we can change back to Banjo and Kazooie and go tackle the boss. We, I know. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, what? I just, I just swim our way. <laughs> I swim our way out of this place. All right, let's take a dive. Take a nose dive. And now we can go fight the boss. I wonder what the boss is. The boss. <laughs> All righty. So now. The boss is located at, what was it, Locker's Cavern? Yeah, Locker's Cavern. Okay, Oop, let's, uh, went a bit too far there. Oh, we went a bit too far again. There we go. Let's warp to Locker's Cavern. Man, these, uh, these warp pads really save your ass in this game. All right, let's equip the grenade eggs. Or the grenades. And this is the one. It's David Jones Locker. Alright. Now that that's open, I think we'll call it a video here. And I think this would be a perfect place to end the video. So next time on Let's Play Banjo Tooie, we're going to fight the Jolly Roger Lagoon boss. So see you guys then.